What is that? That is in every one of my fish tanks. That is my CO2 reservoir. It's different ways to add CO2 into an aquarium. This is a bell system. And like I said, it's in every one of my fish tanks. I fill this reservoir. This is essentially, that's a CO2 bubble that's sitting in that right now because it's full because I just uh, refreshed, refreshed them all this morning. So that's my CO2 bubble. Instead of using a tank and a regulator and a diffuser, very expensive, especially when you have multiple tanks, I just go with this bell system. And anybody can uh, do this. All you need is a container and a spray can of CO2. And you can add CO2 into your tank in, in an almost 100% efficient manner. All right. So what is this? It's just one bubble held submerged. So it has the lid on it. And ignore the, the lines coming and going here. I have a little automation, but um, the lid is on this. Oops. And uh, it's held in place with the zip ties. The, it's a juice container, so it's just under two liters. And then the CO2 is diffused naturally through these two holes. So there is a piece of sponge filter on that hole. I think the other one has blown off. These don't bother the fish at all. So most of them don't have uh, this piece of foam. Just depends how much CO2 I want released into the water. So it's just a CO2 or it's just a plastic container with a lid on held in place by the center brace with two holes. CO2 is diffused out naturally. You can get by with this entire, you can make this entire system for a total of like a few bucks. I think the can used to refill these is like five bucks. It's a, just a handheld spray can. I use something a little larger because I have a fish room, but uh, you know, one single spray can and a couple juice bottles and, you know, you can get a couple tanks rocking with plants. All right. So this plant here is flowering. To change the level of CO2 in your tank, simply just adjust the size of your holes in the bottom of your reservoir. Make them bigger for uh, greater diffusion, smaller for less. And this will last throughout the day. So it's a it's nearly a 100% efficient system. And I fill it once in the morning and then by the time the lights go off, it's about empty. All right, that's my CO2 reservoir.